Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and Colin asks here, if one were to get a PhD in mathematics, would these topics have to do something related to financial mathematics in order to become a quant researcher, or is it just the research experience that is important? Okay, obviously, if you could go get a PhD in math and you could have like a super relevant topic, that's like five stars, right? Optimal solution possible here, right? Because everyone's going to want to hire you if you did research that is actually meaningful and published in a top journal in quant finance of some sorts here, right? So that's the best case scenario. So the real question here is, right, do you absolutely have to do something related to quant finance? And the answer is no. Uh, a lot of these firms, so for example, if you look at online, at like some of the top firms like DE Shaw, for example, they're looking for really smart people, like really, really smart people. And if you have a PhD in math and you're really smart and you did some really interesting research, you're going to be able to talk about that research in an interview and they'll probably end up hiring you at a lot of these firms because you're smart, you have the math, you have the tools to do the job. You just haven't done exactly what they need you to do. And often with quant research or even other parts of quant finance, you're not going to be just solving one problem or one type of problem in your whole career. You're going to be kind of jumping around and doing different things. And for me, math is really one of those tools that kind of underlays everything like stats, probability theory, even like logic and computer science, a lot of times you're incorporating math to build out logic to do things and do calculations. So a PhD in math, I think is excellent. The only downside here and to be somewhat careful of is make sure when you list out on your resume, you want to make sure that you're not so like in the weeds, that the skills you have listed, the classes you've done, the research you've done has no relationship at all to finance or quantitative finance here. So go online, do a little research, I almost guarantee you, you've taken classes that are completely relevant to quant finance because quant finance is built on mathematics. And as you've pointed out here too, just going through that research process in itself, doing something interesting, somewhat related is gonna be beneficial. Being able to tie those ideas together is important. But having that research experience as a PhD is invaluable because as most people know that have done actual research here, it takes a long, long, long time to do valid research. It's not like you just jump on it in three months, you're done. So. PhDs are awesome. Uh, PhDs in math are great for quant finance. But again, learning to write that resume to make it seem relevant if your research topic isn't focused on quant finance is going to be the key to getting a job. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.